A long time ago, Rakesh and Meena used to reside in a small town. They had a daughter named Reena and a son named Raman. Rakesh and Reena both were working, which prevented them from spending quality time with their kids. As a result, their children struggled in their studies as well. One day, the principal gave Rakesh a call and he said, "Rakesh, your children are not interested in their studies." They have received extremely low grades this year. If this happens again, I will expel both of them from the school. Sir, because we both have jobs, we are unable to devote our time to them, but I'll keep an eye on them from now on. As soon as he gets home from school, Rakesh begins scolding the children, which is when Meena said, "What did principal say? And why are you scolding the children so badly?" "I have received the report card of Raman and Reena." Look how poor marks they have got and if they get similar marks again they will be expelled from the school Is this true what am i hearing these kids why don't you both study i keep asking you to study hard don't i see what you have done this is truly disappointing Meena shouting at them is pointless instead i believe you should quit your job and give your time to our children what Rakesh, are you serious? I told you before we married that I would never leave my career, and I still stand by that decision. Meena, but who will look after the children? We both stay outside for so long. We should also pay attention to them. You look for new tuition for them tomorrow, and they will go there to study. But I cannot quit my career. Do what you like. I don't know. Don't ask me anything. Meena goes to her room angrily and both the kids also go to their room. Raman then tells to Reena, "Reena, our parents do not have time for us, but it's okay. We will always be together and support each other and we will never let each other down." Yes, brother. Both the siblings feel very bad. They hug each other and in no time they go to their respective beds and they go to sleep. Then one day Reena asks her father, "Daddy, we have a holiday coming up next week. So we want to stay with the grandparents for a few days. Will you please drop us there?" "Okay, child. If Raman is also ready, I'll drop you both next Sunday and come." "Kids, are you both really willing to stay with your grandparents?" "Yes, mom. You can come to pick us up before the vacation ends." "All right." The very next Sunday, Rakesh and Meena go to the village with their children. The children were extremely happy to meet their grandparents. Leaving the kids with their grandparents, Rakesh and Meena returned to the city. The children started living happily with them. The children around them get to know them and they start playing with them. One day while playing, Reena and Raman go for a walk in the village. Then they see a very old house. So Raman tells Reena Hey Reena, look how old this house is. Let's go inside and check out. This is going to be fun. No, brother. I am afraid simply looking at this place. I am not going to come in. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm right there with you. Anyway, we will never get such an opportunity again. Okay. As you say. Let's go. Raman and Reena both open the door and walk in. When they enter inside they hear some children and teachers voice coming from within as soon as they go inside they get scared seeing what was in front of them they see a witch teacher teaching ghosts of the children a chill ran through their spine just then come come in raman reena class is about to start let's sit in the class come on we are getting late but but how do we i'm scared raman and reena get so scared that they become paralyzed and they could not run away from there they start studying with those ghosts of the children even the witch taught the spirits of the children with lot of dedication raman and reena also started studying very hard and they got all their doubts cleared from her as soon as their school ends the witch said students tomorrow come to school on time and keep one thing in mind that no one should know that you came here to study otherwise no one will let you come here is that clear raman and reena reach home while talking and playing then their grandmother said 
Hey kids, where were you all day long? Did you spend the whole day playing? Granny, we were here. We were playing with the kids outside. You should have told us before going. We get worried. After having their dinner, both kids go to bed. The following morning, after having a shower, they both woke up early and they waited for the noon. Now that it was noon, both the kids headed outside to go to the school of the spirits while they pretended to go to play outside. They both started studying in the haunted school. Then Rina said, "Brother, this is a haunted school. Yet, what a pleasure to be here. How beautifully this teacher teaches us, isn't it?" "Yes." I enjoy studying here too. But first tell me something. How did you all turn into ghosts? One day due to heavy rain and wind, the roof of the school collapsed and we all died in it. But our teacher is still teaching us here. After a month passed in this manner, when it was time for them to leave for the city, the kids said goodbye to everyone at the haunted school. As soon as Raman and Reena are back in city their school resumes even the teachers were surprised of their good performance Raman and Reena who often had lower grades this year topped in every subject as a result the principal invites Rakesh and Meena to the school and questions them Mr Rakesh I won't complain about the children today instead I just want to say thank you Sir I am grateful I didn't understood sir Mr Rakesh we can't believe how far your children have come in just one month your kids have figured out that maths problem that our teachers couldn't your kids are extraordinary both meena and rakesh were preoccupied in their own thoughts rakesh we had never given our kids any attention we can't even recall the class in which they are enrolled whatever the case the fact that children are learning is a wonderful thing Don't you think so? Now while coming home Rakesh and Meena bring ice cream and chocolates for the children and they start talking to the children with love and just then Meena said Raman Reena what spell did your grandparents cast on you What's the deal your principal was praising you guys so much but the kids don't disclose anything to Meena Meena repeatedly begs them but they remain silent Late at night Reena and Raman were talking We had so many nice friends and teacher. They educated us in such a way that we performed extraordinary. Yes, Reena. Our parents don't have time for us, but it didn't matter. A few days have already passed. Meena overheard Raman and Reena talking one day when she was at home. They were not talking about typical topics, but rather about their haunted school memories. When she heard the name of the Omnia school she became quite frightened Meena's hands begin to shake but she still moved bravely in front of Raman and Reena and she asked What which haunted school are you both talking about Reena Raman tell me right now Now Reena and Raman disclose everything to their mother Children please forgive us we worked our entire life just for money and for basic needs but we never gave you both the love that you deserved which you received from that haunted school we feel extremely horrible this will never happen again after today i will come home early every day from the office and i will teach you guys also now that the holidays have arrived rakesh takes his entire family to the village as soon as it is noon the kids rush to the location to look into but the haunted property completely vanishes children begin to inquire about it within the village here and there they got to know that there was no such property over there hearing this both the kids express their gratitude to the witch teacher and their spirit friends rakesh now brings both of his parents to the city where they now live happily ever after there was a small village riverton where a man named roger lived with his family His wife Haley was very short-tempered. She always fought with the people of the village. Roger worked at a small farm but didn't earn enough money for his family's livelihood. He was always worried due to his financial situation. One such day, Roger, 
What happened? Why are you looking so sad? Nothing. I was thinking I'm so unlucky that I married Haley. That's it. Please don't talk like that. Why not? I'm very fed up of all these. Tell me what happened. No matter how hard I work, it is never enough. Always fighting with me because of the lack of money. Why don't you go to a city and start a business over there? It will need a lot of money. If you need money, I will lend you some money. I will give you ten thousand rupees. You go to a city and start your business. Really? Will you help me, Nick? Of course, I will help you. Don't worry. Come to my house tomorrow. I will give you ten thousand rupees. Thank you very much, Nick. I am very lucky to have you as my friend. Please don't mention it. Come to my place tomorrow. I will keep the money ready. Nick and Roger said goodbye to each other and returned home. Haley, where are you? I am here. You were calling me. What do you want to tell? I was thinking about going to city and starting a business there. All of a sudden, you decided to do that. Why? Haley, I work so hard but still can't earn enough money for us. But I might earn more money if I start a business in a city. That's a good idea. But I will be alone here. What will I do? First, I will go to city and start a business. After few months, I will call you and tell you whether you should come or not. Okay, fine. But what are you going to eat? Don't worry about that. You just take care of our kids and yourself. Next morning, Roger went to Nick's house with his packed bag. Oh, welcome, Roger. Here, your money is ready. And work hard to be successful. All right. Nick, do you think I can do it, my friend? How will you know if you don't try first? Roger took the bus and left for the city. He was stunned to see the dazzling city. After getting off the bus, he found himself standing opposite to a bank. He saw a tea seller serving tea to some people. Within few minutes, he finished selling tea. Roger was very hungry, so he asked the tea seller, "Hey, brother, how much for a cup of tea?" "Are you new in town? It is ten rupees for a cup of tea." "Okay, please give me a cup of tea." Roger paid to the tea seller and asked if there is a place where he could stay. "You can stay with me until you find a job. You can stay at home." "Thank you, brother. That is very kind of you. You have helped me a lot. I can't thank you enough." When I came to the city first time, I was alone too. Nobody helped me then, so I have decided to help you. Let's go. Let's go. The tea seller took Roger to his home. Roger spent the night at his house. Next morning, tea seller left for his work, and Roger stayed back. After selling tea for whole day, tea seller returned home in the evening. He also brought some food for Roger. Brother, I want to start a new business in the city. Will you please help me with this? I will definitely help you but which business do you think you will start I haven't really thought about it but I think I will sell tea like you do Well that's a good idea if you want you can start your business with me No thanks that's not necessary you just show me a good place for me to start business you are already doing so much for me I won't bother you anymore Do you remember the bank where we first met there is no tea seller nearby why don't you start the business from there How much money will it need? It might take five thousand rupees, and you will have to buy some other material along with a trolley. Tomorrow we will go buy a trolley. As you wish. You are helping a stranger like me in this big city. You are like a god. Okay, let's eat. I have brought vegetable and bread for you. Roger and tea seller had their dinner and went to sleep. Next morning, they went in search of a trolley. They also bought all the material needed to start the business. Brother, you have helped me so much. Did you come to the city in search of work too? Roger, I was very poor. It was very bad. I came here in search of work. No one in the city helped me and I failed many times, but I did not give up. Yesterday when I saw you, it reminded me about my past life. So I decided to help you. That's it. So where is your family? I don't have a family. I'm all alone in this world. Please don't be sad. Now you have me, your brother, and my whole family is yours. Now you are not alone. Hearing this, the tea seller couldn't hold his tears back. He kept looking at Roger as if he is his real brother. 
Next day, Roger and tea seller started his new business. Everyone liked the tea that Roger has prepared. Roger, everyone loved the tea you have prepared. Really? Have you tried? Please take this. Tea seller accepts the drink. Roger, this is amazing. You have done a great job. Let's go to the bank and distribute the brochures which will bring more customers. Okay, let's go. Tea seller and Roger went to the bank and distributes brochures in the bank. In the evening after finishing their work, they started chatting. Brother, why don't we sell some snacks along with tea? It will bring more profit and customers will get more things at one place. Hmm, this is an excellent idea. We will definitely follow it. Roger and tea seller returned home and started counting the money. Today we brought all the materials for 1000 rupees and we have earned 5000 rupees. You keep this 2000 rupees and rest I will use for tomorrow's material. They both finished their dinner and went to sleep. Next day Roger went to his tea stall and tea seller also went for his work. Roger's business was doing well and his customers were satisfied. 15 days later tea seller helped Roger to find a home on rent. Roger went to his village to meet his family. Haley was very happy to see him. My dear, is your business doing good? You are talking about good? It is doing better. Get ready. You are coming with me too. Really? Yes, really. I will go and meet Nick. Roger went to Nick's house to visit him. Hey Nick, where are you? Oh Roger, when did you come? I have just come. Here, take your 10,000 rupees. You are my true friend Nick. If you hadn't helped me then I would have never left for the city and started a business. Roger, I did what a good friend will do. Roger and Nick said goodbye and Roger returned home. Next day Roger left the village along with his family and returned to the city. He started living in the rented house. Haley also helped him in his business. Roger becomes very successful over the time. Tea seller also lived with them. Now he had a new family too. They lived happily after that.